What's up? So today I'm going to be going over a grass quick start tutorial. And for this, I'm going to be setting up and applying a grass texture to a landscape. So I'm going to be going over this here, right here, this Unreal Engine documentation. Um, I will leave a link down below. If you want to just read through it instead, you can just exit out of this and go to this location and you can just do the step-by-step -step guide if that's your better way of learning. I tend to like videos so I can listen to it because I don't like reading a lot of words. But yeah, I'll leave it down as an option. So the first thing that we're gonna need for this, we're gonna need some prerequisites. And by prerequisites, I mean we actually need the grass that we're going to be using. So if I open Fab here, by clicking this up here, I can hit Start Exploring, and it'll pop up a new link up here. And what we're going to be grabbing is, let's see, World Demo Collection. So this Open World Demo Collection, I already have it downloaded, but if you don't, just add it to your library. And then after you add it to your library, you're gonna go into your library and you are going to look for the open world demo collection. And we're going to add it to a project. And I'm just gonna show all my projects and the one I'm going to add it to is the grass quick start. And it's going to say the asset is not compatible with version 5.4. That's okay. We're just going to do it with the latest possible version that we can use. I'm going to click add to project. And I'm going to wait for this to add to the project. So it's been downloaded. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a file and then click a new level. And I'm just going to do a basic world. All right, so we're now in our new level. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is actually just get rid of this. And I'm doing that because we're going to create our own landscape. So I'm going to click this I'm going to click landscape. And this is what the landscape is going to look like. I am going to keep all this. I'm, um, I'm okay with all the different dimensions and everything, so I'm going to click Create. And this is what we end up with. So there's a few things I'm going to do here. I want to create mounds and stuff so it's not just a flat surface that the grass is on. So I'm going to make like some mounds and stuff. So the first thing I'm going to mess with here is going to be the tool strength. And I'm going to make this as low as possible. It's a subtle effect here. Um, and you want to, you can add more intensity by painting more. The brush size is the size of the brush. So I'm going to make it like whatever. That's pretty good. And I also want to change the noise. The noise scale being bigger means that it's going to look more natural when applied to the landscape, if that makes sense. And so now that I've done that, I am just, all I need to do now is I'm going to click the left mouse button and it's going to lift the terrain. And I don't know if you can see it because it's very smooth. But you can see, well, maybe I just make it a little bit bigger there. There you go. You can see the terrain is lifting. All right, I've been messing around way too much. <laughs> but uh, you can see the terrain is um, different. <laughs> There's some hills and stuff. All right, next part. All right, for this part, I'm gonna create the landscape grass type. So I'm just gonna go in here, I'm gonna right click anywhere in the content browser in here. And I'm going to go to foliage and I'm going to go to landscape grass type. And you can 
name this whatever makes sense to you. I'm just going to call it grass underscore zero zero. All right. And then all I'm going to do is double click on here and it's going to pull up this. I'm just going to dock this up here. So I'm going to hit this plus and it's going to create a bunch of different options in this index. The only thing that we're going to concern ourselves with in here for now is just going to be a few things. Uh, one of them is going to be the grass mesh. And I'm going to pull from one of the grass mesh things that we downloaded from the thing I just got. If you're using something else, go for it. It follows probably the same logic. So I'm going to get an SM underscore. Uh oh field grass I think that's the one I wanted and grass density uh, I'm gonna leave it at 400 but um, increasing or decreasing this increases and decreases the amount of grass density um, use grid uh, this allows it to make it look more natural in its placement in that it offsets the placement positions What else do we have here? Random rotation. Um, this randomly rotates your grass. And align to surface. And this one makes sure that it conforms to the surface of the landscape terrain. And I think that's all we need with this. I saved it. So I'm just going to go back out of this. All right, so now I'm going to create a material that's going to go under the grass. That makes it still look grassy. It's not going to be this checkered. I'm going to replace the checker with a new material. So I'm going to go right click in here in the content browser. And I'm going to click material. And this is just going to be your grass. I'm just going to call it M grass, M for material dash grass. And I'm going to double click on here. And I'm going to open up this material thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab stuff that I already have in our thing. And I'm probably going to have to look at it over on this side here. What do I call it? Uh, yes, I didn't call it anything. This is what it's called once you download the project. Alpine. M, uh, I think it's the alt one. So M, sorry, not M, it's material. So I'm gonna grab the texture and I want the alt R. So the I want the T dash Alpine patch alt R one. So I'm gonna drag this in here and this is the texture champ. This is the texture sample right here. So I have this, and I also want the grass one, which is called grass. This one, T, no, grass 01D, I believe this is the right one. All right, I want these two, and then I'm going to look up a couple things. So the first thing I want is a landscape. Uh, I want a layer blend, and then I want a layer sample. Landscape, layer sample. I'll leave this as none for now. And I want a grass output. Landscape grass output. So I'm going to go over each one of these little nodes here. So for the landscape layer blend, to make a landscape look more realistic, you're going to often need to blend multiple different paints together. And that's what this thing does. Now for the layer sample, the landscape layer sample, the material expression allows the material and the landscape to talk to one another 
to ensure the right static mesh is used whenever a certain landscape layer is painted. And lastly, we have the grass output. And what this does is this enables the landscape terrain to be able to spawn the grass types on the setup in the landscape material. So we're gonna start with the layer blend. So the two materials we're gonna be using are these two, or the two textures we're gonna be using are these two. And I'm just going to hit the plus here, go down here, and I'm going to name one of the layers rock. So this is going to be the rock layer. And then we're also going to need a grass layer. Grass. Uh, let's do the preview weight. I'm gonna make it one. One. And as you can see now, it appeared on the layer blend input. So we're just gonna attach the RGB to here. Oh, I totally missed. Attach both RGBs onto here. And then this is just going to go into the base color. So next, we're going to do the landscape grass here. And I've highlighted it. And if I go down here, open the index here, we wanna take the grass type that we created already I don't remember what I called it. Oh, it's right there. So we want to take our grass zero zero and we're just going to insert it in here. Click this. I'm just going to call this grass for the parameter name. And I'm going to attach it to the landscape grass here. And I'm going to apply it and save it. And you should be good for this. So I'm going to go back to here. All right, so it's unselected right now. I'm going to click on it and you'll see it pops up on the right side. You'll see the landscape and there should be an option for a landscape material. And we're just gonna take the landscape material that we just created. There you go, my content browser. And I'm going to put it in here. And that looks like mud, but that is not the end of it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into here and then we're going to go into the landscape mode. And this time we're going to go into paint. And so as you can see here, we have both our rock and the grass that we made. And you can see this plus icon over here. So as you can see, it's like red right now. So we need to create a layer info for this. And we're gonna weight blend the layer as normal. And then you can save it to wherever. I'm just gonna do it in the content. And then it'll appear the rock layer info. And we need to do it for both of these things. So wait, yeah, there, close up for whatever reason. Uh, then you hit the plus icon on the grass and do the exact same thing. And I'm going to go into my content drawer and save it there. So now I have the grass layer info and I have the rock layer info. Let me just save this. All right, so I have that. Let me go back into my landscape mode here. And now all I have to do is I have to click down on whatever thing I'm trying to work on. So I'm gonna start with the, the grass first. And I'm just going to highlight over the area that I'm trying to change here. Let me just do this, this. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let me go in here. And if I go in really close, you can see the grass. Do this. All right. So I have grass. I can also click on the rock here 
that another texture I created and I can do that. And that will change it to the the rocky one. <laughs> All right, where's my, let me see where my player start is. Oh, let me go to select mode. So I'm gonna go into selection and I'm gonna pick my player start. Let me just bring this over here. Let me get it above so I don't fall through the earth. And this is the grass. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. You can input your own grass and materials however you like in here and make whatever type of grass or other type of ground floor texture that you want. So yeah, have a good one. Bye.